Okay, in this video we're going to talk about again monetizing your blog and we are going to talk specifically about two different ways in which you can uh, earn an income with the traffic that you're getting to your actual blog. Now, obviously you can do advertisement and we talked about where to place the ads in a previous video but you can also earn money uh, or you can earn an income from affiliate marketing which you will have to sign up for but now let's talk about the difference and why people tend to shy away from affiliate marketing number one because they perceive that affiliate marketing is not passive enough right and so basically with affiliate marketing you have to get people or you have to entice people or you have to try to uh, influence people to take an action and so typically when people get started in internet marketing they don't believe that they have the skills necessary to help people or to entice people to take an action and so they perceive that if they put uh, advertising on their blog that is an easy way to monetize in other words then people will then come to the site see an ad that's already done and click on it and then you'll get paid it's perceived that that's easier however let's talk a little bit about uh, advertising now advertising is indeed passive the the problem with earning money from advertising is that it is incremental in other words you have to have a lot of traffic and you earn a little bit on a lot of traffic and so the only way in which to maximize your income is that you need to have a lot of traffic in other words if you're only getting a few pennies to a dollar every time somebody decides to click an ad that you're not necessarily trying to influence them to click you are going to have to again have a lot of traffic coming to the page because again um, we're not even trying to influence these people now the reason that this is so popular among internet marketers both those who have been involved for an, for a, a long time as well as those who get started is due to a blogger uh, named shoe money and I'm gonna show you his uh, blog and I'm going to show you kind of the uh, the, the 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 famous uh, photo that really got people started thinking about how to get advertising on their site now you may not be able to see that closely but what it shows is that shoe money has a check from Google for one hundred and thirty two thousand dollars that he earned in a month with all uh, passive traffic and with all traffic that he got from SEO or search engine optimization and so ever since that time people have really been people have been focused on earning an entire income from AdSense thinking that if shoe money can generate one hundred and thirty two thousand dollars in a month perhaps I can generate maybe one tenth of that and that would be a significant income however again let's talk about this again in order to do that you've got to have a lot of traffic in order to do it a lot and what it relies on pretty much is the effectiveness of the advertisements that are on your site you really don't have any control over what the visitor actually does now the difference is uh, between advertising and affiliate marketing is naturally you are dependent on in terms of your income you're depending on people taking an action right so people come to the site and you get to influence them in the action that they're taking so in other words you're going to be doing something and we're going to be talking about this in the next video you are going to be pre selling them in other words you're going to take uh, the steps to get them ready to either take an action to opt into a list or to click through to a website in order to buy something but what you're doing is you are influencing them in the affiliate marketing process every time a person takes an action you'll actually get paid but you get to influence the process so in 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 in, in not being in 
actively involved in getting the customer or getting the visitor to take an action, you're actually missing out on a lot more income. The other part to affiliate marketing is that you're going to make uh, more uh, money every time someone actually takes that action. So in typically when you are advertising on your site and somebody clicks on an ad, you get a portion of of uh, a portion of the actual cost which turns out sometimes between uh, to be sometimes between 50 cents uh, to a dollar to two dollars but it typically is not a lot of money and so that's why in order to earn a daily income you got to have a lot of people with affiliate marketing you could end up getting an actual p portion of a sale it's like a commission and you get a commission for helping the company uh, to generate leads. So if someone comes to your site, clicks on uh, one of the advertisements, and they then opt into a list, you are going to actually get paid some of what uh, they're willing to pay for your generation of the lead. So affiliate marketing and advertising, they're, they're different and advertising is again it's a it's a passive activity but is not the only way to monetize your blog we're going to talk about this process that most marketers when they first get started they shy away from this is a way that if you are willing to take this challenge you can literally make more uh, money than you would otherwise waiting for the traffic by doing affiliate marketing so uh, with that I will see you in the next video where we will be talking about this act of pre-selling